They're gonna be showing you a move that is uh, fairly useful to know. Uh, it works good in Horde and Escape. And that is you melee twice, but as you melee the second time, you hold B. Now, it works very good when you get the opening melee. In a standoff, trade-off melee fight, you're just not gonna get the gun butt very often. But when you got that timing where you strike first, you can do extra damage. Also, once you do that and they're stunned off the gun butt, you can hold B if they have a lot of life, and you can execute them. Now right there, if they just go to the ground, you actually have two options. Uh, well, you have three options, actually. And I'll show you right here. Gun button, bring him to the ground. As soon as you, he, you hit that um, melee button, you can actually hit Y and pick him up. You can go P, B, hold that B. Oh, well, he actually didn't go down, so there is the other one. So if you do the B, B, hold B, and they still have life left, they're going to get stunned. Now, at this point, you can either shoot them, use them as a meat shield with the Y. You can still use them as a meat shield. Or you can execute them by hitting B. Now, on higher level difficulties, it's still useful. But what you're going to do is you're going to pick them up as a meat shield every time. Because if you go through the execution, you know, uh, you, you're wasting time in that execution animation. And you're going to take damage. So you don't really want to do that shit. But what it is, is it's B, B, hold B. And you'll figure it out after doing it a few times. Um, your options are execute or meat shield. Now watch how often the, the trade-offs melee fight, because when you have the advantage, you can get it off. In a standard trade-off melee fight, you won't be able to win all the time, and you'll just go back trading off melee, and you'll be taking damage, and it's not what you want to be doing there. So, I hope this move helps you out. It actually is very useful to put in more damage when you got you just be kneeling a scion. I need the executions for Kate. Actually, while I'm doing this right now, but figured I'd get this tutorial in there too. Three left. So yeah, um, you can use the gum butt on scions, but obviously you can't execute them. Um, the only enemies you can pick up and execute with this move after the stun are enemies that you can normally meet gra uh, meet shield grab. If you can't meet, you can't do the robots because you can't meet shield them. They work on the standard drones, hunters, all that. Everything else is just the gum butt when you want to put a little bit more a uh, animation. When you're just doing a quick melee before jumping or something. Perfect. Just uh, remember to use the gum butt when you have the advantage. In a standard trade-off fight, you might get it off. Back off a little bit. Try to time it where you can get the first slice, slice in. And you should get it. With a, with a lot, with a, after you do it a few times, you'll know exactly when to use it. So I hope this move helps you guys out.